ASIP Videos. Hey guys, ASIP here, and welcome to the first tutorial for W3 Hut. Um, this is a JavaScript tutorial on the try catch statement. Um, so, what is the try catch statement to start with? Um, basically, what it allows us to do is uh, we can use it to test code, we can use it to debug code type thing. Um, we can also use it to give our users an option when an error occurs, because normally if we don't give them an option they're just going to be stuck with the page that doesn't actually work. Whereas if we have an option they can, um, well they, you know, they have an option basically. Um, so let's take a look here at this first page we have. Um, at the moment, the only code that will work, or should work anyway, is this. What we're trying to do is alert hello. Okay. Uh, if I now open up Google Chrome and I find the file where that page is, drag and drop it in, we can see it's not alerted anything when it should have alerted hello. Uh, and we can see some text here, bad page, that's just down here. Okay, so how do we deal with this error that's occurring when uh, we try and uh, alert hello? We can easily see ourselves here that there's just two L's, but uh, if we had lots of code, that wouldn't be very obvious. So, the simplest way to do this is, let me just uncomment this code here use the try catch statement okay so to use this all you've got to do is type the keyword try and then two parentheses and in between these parentheses the uh, the code you want to test for any errors okay so for example here I'm putting that code the alert hello between a try to see if it has any errors okay after that you'll need to put a catch and then two parentheses and then you'll need to provide uh, a variable name. Uh, now that variable name will just be the variable created to hold the error that um, was created if a an error occurred inside your try statement. Okay, so there may not actually be any error. Whoops, there may not actually be any error. You just need to uh, provide a name there. Uh, um, in case there is one, and if there is an error, then this variable name will hold the error that occurred, and you can figure stuff out about it. Okay. Um, after the ca after those two parentheses and stuff, you need to have another uh, pair of braces, and this is what you're going to do if an error is caught. Okay. Uh, now, basically, I've very simply made a variable called message. And inside that mes message, I provided some information. I told the user an error has occurred. I've um, basically what I'm doing here is I've typed error colon, and then after that, I've added on the description of this variable error. Okay, and that's probably the only the uh, the only reason we actually need to name this error. Although, if we didn't na if we didn't put a variable name here, it would throw in it. It would uh, not work. the JavaScript wouldn't work because I'm pretty sure by default in a try catch statement you have to have that variable name in between these parentheses here. But basically, uh, it's important you have that so you can then you can then retrieve the description of uh, that error inside that variable. Okay, we're just using a plus sign again here, and then error dot description. Okay. And then uh, we're adding a little line break to the end. And finally, we're saying to the user, click OK to continue. And because that's just a variable, we have to alert it. So here we're alerting out the message. Okay. Now, if I run that, F5 to refresh, you can see it says error occurred, error, and then it's added on this description undefined, and click OK to continue. So basically, all undefined means here is that's an undefined function. Okay. A double L E R T is not a known function to JavaScript, uh, in either in its library, or in um, or out of any functions you yourself have created. Okay. Uh, that's basically it in a nutshell. There's just one more thing I want to show you guys though, um, 
and it's a little nifty trick it adds a bit more um, of an option to the user gives the op uh, a bit more of an option to the user so again we're trying out the same statement here giving this the variable the same name adding on the error description here instead though we're saying click OK to continue viewing this page or press cancel to return to home page the reason we can say press cancel is because we're using a confirm box here um, now what we need to do unless you want to create a variable we could either do it this way I'll show you how else we could do it basically what this is checking is to see if uh, can the confirm box that uh, has the message MSG that, that has the message contained in the variable MSG if it's not true if it doesn't return a true value then the document dot location dot ref is equal to safe dot HTML that's basically forwarding the page okay that's what that will do um, so yeah let's test that out before I give you the second example if we just okay blah blah press F5 to refresh okay again we can see the same stuff the same uh, description and the stuff we told it to print out if we press OK it continues viewing the page and it prints out that text in the body section if we press F5 again and instead click cancel this time we can see what's printed out is save page and that's just a separate page I've made here which only has the text save page in it uh, just as an example to show that it does what it's meant to do uh, the alternate way I wanted to show you is rather than doing this which I just this is an alternate method that I just came up with now actually Oops. let's just comment this stuff out first okay um, now instead of doing this we could say um, yeah we want to get rid of that one um, actually we want to keep those okay and we'll call the confirm msg con okay now we're going to create a new variable called msg con and assign it a value of a confirm oops, with the message msg inside okay and this will do exactly the same thing if we go back press ok uh, whoops. Oh, right. Yeah, we've got to say equals equals false. Okay. So if we go back again, press OK. You can see it's still alerts bad page. Press F5 again. Press cancel. Alert safe page. Okay. Um, quick tutorial on the try catch statement for both my channel on YouTube. And this video will also go up on uh, w3hot.com. Check it out. It's. Uh, it's in the making at the moment, but um, it's going to have tons of tutorials on um, making a website, basically. Um, I've decided to uh, help out the guy who's making it. He's actually the same person who's hosting my website, so kind of, you know, paying him back, I guess. Um, I'm pretty sure my previous tutorial will go up. I've just got to convert it and then hand it over to him. Um, next tutorial will be the on error um, event okay remember in the previous tutorial we looked at events well this on error event is a bit more uh, advanced so we're gonna look at that next tutorial over and out